twin pregnancies are becoming less common um, through IVF. And this is mainly because we're focusing on single embryo transfer when it's possible and a favorable choice. Multiple births develop through in vitro fertilization at times when we put back more than one embryo. For example, if we put back two embryos and each embryo takes, then that would result in a diamniotic, dizygotic pregnancy, which are fraternal twins. There's another type of twin that can develop from in vitro fertilization, and this is an identical twin split. And it is actually more common to occur in in vitro fertilization cycles, happening in about 2% of cases. That's a case where we place one embryo back, and the embryo itself splits into an identical twin set called a monozygotic set of twins. We strongly advocate putting back a single embryo. And the reason is because a singleton pregnancy is so much healthier than a twin could potentially be. Complications to both the mom and the babies, um, prematurity and other things, these are risks that we would love to prevent if we could, and so singleton pregnancies are ideal.